Hey everyone, this is Josh. I just wanted to go over a basic workflow um, inside of ExoCAD where you can make a base plate for a uh, for an eventual arch, and that's going to be using the bite splint module. Um, I know kind of a basic concept, but um, something that should be covered in every 101 type of experience inside of ExoCAD. So the first step um, in the process is to load the data. Um, you can see that um, we mark basically the uh, we mark the um, the database for one tooth bite splint. Doesn't really matter. That'll activate everything you need. Unfortunately, you're going to need to do um, the upper and lower in separate workflows. Um, um, in in uh, in separate work orders. So basically, what you can do is come in here to the software. The first step in the process is to design the bite splint bottom and how it interacts with the stone model. So you're going to be giving that an insertion direction by setting it like this with the arrow or by setting it like this with your set from view. Basically from there, you decide on the offset. Um, you know, we haven't seen any real variation in tissue um, reaction and the way that it works with the patient anywhere between zero to 0 0.05. Um, when we're 3D printing bases, you know, we do leave just a little bit of room um, for the inaccuracies in the process, last thing we want to do is introduce um, sore spots because of inaccuracies of uh, fabrication. So we'll leave uh, the settings like this. Everyone will kind of come up, come up with their own settings. You can allow the undercuts up to a more certain amount. Um, or um, then this is then basically the smoothing. Uh, properties and milling properties for the bite split. Um, so you'll just go ahead and press apply and what that'll do is create a layer which I've already created so we won't go through it again. Which will create a layer called the bite splint bottom. Once you have this bite splint bottom the next step is to design the bite splint top. And you see that's basically um, done by clicking on um, your surface. A good trick is to come over here to the bottom side of the scan, flip it over, and then you can then draw your base plate uh, border. You can then set your thickness and then Oh, and also your smoothing settings. So if you wanted to duplicate the natural rugae, you would go to minimal. If you want to go up, you would just go up. You then press OK, apply. Um, I already have it once again, so I'm going to just press cancel. Um, the next step in the process would to then be to freeform um, anything that you didn't like. Um, uh, in the in the design here, um, <laughs> basically, then what we could do is you know use the anatomic selections if you wanted to bulk this out or thin it out. Um, this is going to be for a wax rim that we're going to put on afterwards. So basically, what we'll do is just leave it like so. And then the only other step is to then merge and save your restoration. Um, kind of the same process as creating a bite splint, just honestly less to it. Um, so very, very, very approachable. <laughs> um, so you can see here that I brought in the other bite splint. Um, as, uh, as a visualization. So you can uh, do that if you wanted to save them both in the same project. That'll uh, be a nice way for you guys to um, keep kind of the cases together and everything if you wanted. All right, that's really kind of it.
Thanks for watching.